Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh, the food delivery service that brings pre-measured, pre-portioned ingredients right to your doorstep so you can prepare a meal in about 30 minutes. And it saves you so much time. Did you know that on average we spend 41 minutes at the grocery store? HelloFresh has so many recipes to choose from and it's a great way to break out of recipe ruts. And it's super convenient. The food comes right to your doorstep in packaging that is almost entirely recycled or recyclable. HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients means less prep and less wasted food. You can easily change your delivery days, your food preferences, or even skip a week if you like. This week, my family really enjoyed the roasted garlic and zucchini flatbreads. So if you'd like to try HelloFresh for yourself, head over to hellofresh.com and use my code 10 made to receive 10 free meals, including free shipping. Big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. So today I'm going to be making an air pie and it was suggested to me by Nicola. Thank you so much for suggesting this one. I had never heard of it before, but it has a very interesting story and it is very regional. So Nicola lives in Lancashire, England, where this pie is also known as a butter pie or a Catholic pie. And they said that their gran used to make this on Fridays because Catholics would abstain from meat and when they couldn't afford fish would often make this pie. Now this pie, although it's called an air pie, is very rich, but it is very simple and humble, but it sounds absolutely delicious. So the recipe I'm going to be using today comes from Deja Foods and I will put the link down in the description. So let's go ahead and first make the pastry crust. We're going to need our food processor. So let me, what is going on here? So apparently the term air pie comes from a phrase air pie and windy custard or windy pudding, meaning if somebody said, what is for dinner? You would say air pie and windy custard, meaning nothing. The word windy is just so funny. At any rate, let's go ahead and make our crust. So in the bowl of our food processor, 225 grams of all purpose flour. It's about two cups, 60 grams of corn starch, about a quarter cup, 140 grams of butter that I've cubed up. That's about one stick. Now we're gonna pulse this till it looks kind of like breadcrumbs. That. And then we're gonna add some ice water, one tablespoon at a time. Just give it a couple turns and divide it into one third and two thirds. So one third of this will be the top of our pie. The remaining two thirds will be the bottom part of the crust. So now we're gonna chill this for 30 minutes to allow the flour to absorb all of that water. So while our pastry is resting, we need to prepare our filling. We need four medium potatoes. I'm using this yellow variety called Natasha, similar to a Yukon Gold, a little bit waxy. We're gonna peel them. Then we're gonna slice them into about half inch or one centimeter slices. So in a steamer basket, place one layer of potatoes and steam them for about 15 or 20 minutes or until the potatoes are fork tender. So once the potatoes are cooked, we're gonna take them out of the steamer and then lay them on a towel to absorb any extra moisture and then allow them to cool completely. Next, we're gonna take two medium onions and we're going to chop them relatively finely. Next, we're gonna take 120 grams or about one stick of butter and melt it in a saucepan. And then we're gonna add our chopped onions. We're gonna saute them for about 10 minutes until they're nice and soft. We don't want these to brown at all. We just want them to be nice and tender. I've got an eight and a half inch pie dish here. This is a glass one. The recipe calls for an 18 centimeter one, which is about seven inches. So a little bit smaller in diameter than this one, but I think it will still be just fine. Roll my pastry crust between two pieces of wax paper. I just find it so easy. Now we're gonna roll the dough out to about a quarter inch in thickness. And working from the middle and kind of avoiding the edges. Because if we work the edges too much, then they get too thin. If you don't have wax paper, you can use plastic wrap or parchment too or you can just use flour. I think, I think that'll do it. Look at our beautiful crust. Invert it onto our pie. By the way, we wanna make sure that the pie dish is greased with a little bit of butter. And then we gently kind of tuck it in. First, we're gonna add a layer of onions right to the bottom. Oh, these look beautiful. I think anything would be beautiful cooked in a stick of butter. <laughs> now I'm gonna add some pepper 
and salt. Now we're going to add a layer of potatoes. I'm just going to fit them in here and fill in any gaps with cut up potatoes. More salt and pepper. This is our only seasoning, so be generous with it. Now, a layer of onions. And I'm just gonna use up all the potatoes. Even if it's a couple layers, just use them all up. Now we're gonna dampen the edge of our crust. <laughs> Don't have much here. Right on top. There's our lid, and we're going to crimp the two edges together to form a nice seal. This is, I like to roll the edge under a little bit, like this, to bulk up the crust. The pie on Deja Foods' website is absolutely lovely. It's decorated with little scraps of pie crust in the form of leaves and flowers, but because my pie dish was a little bit bigger, I don't really have any scraps, so I'm just gonna leave this pie very simply like this. You can use two fingers like this. So there we have it. Have you seen those videos on TikTok where they pluck the egg yolk from the white? They insist that you have to use wheat bread or a garlic clove. I'm convinced you don't need anything. I think you can just use your fingers dried on a dish towel. Here we go. See? Doink. You don't need anything, just your fingertips. Alrighty, so I have transferred my egg yolk to one tablespoon of water. So behind me, I have my oven preheating. I'm using a convection oven, so it's at 180 degrees Celsius. If you are using a regular oven, that would be 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Brush the top of our pie. Don't forget to vent your pie. I'm gonna make a little plus sign right here, right in the middle of here so that the seam can escape. Alrighty, I'll see you in about 45 minutes. Alrighty, my lovelies, look what just came out of the oven. Isn't it beautiful, the air pie? It has been cooling for about 15 minutes and I cannot wait to taste it. Ooh, it slices beautifully. Ooh, I can hear the flakiness of the crust. Oh, you stay right there. Look at that, that's beautiful. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Get a bit of crust and potato. Itadakimasu. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. The pastry is flaky and tender, full of buttery flavor. The potatoes, I definitely recommend using a waxy potato, have a nice bite to them and they don't completely crumble when you pierce them. Mm and the potatoes have soaked up that onion infused butter. So good. So very simple and so delicious. And the onions are fantastic. Sweet, flavorful, soaked in butter. Mmm. That reminds me. I have something to go with this. I have to go grab it. I'll be right back. All right, my lovelies, I am back with this little tiny bottle. And this came all the way from England from Lee. Lee, thank you so much for sending this to me. And it is a bottle of Henderson's Relish. Now, Lee recommends having this on meat pies or savory pies or beef stews. But this is a pie. I know it's not a meat pie, but it's an opportunity for me to taste Henderson's Relish. Splash it on pies, stews, chips, bolognese, cheese on toast made in Sheffield to a secret recipe. So this sounds perfect. So this pie originates from Lancashire, which is on the northwestern side of England, while Sheffield is northern England, a little bit due east. It's so interesting. When I think of relish, I think of pickled relish. I would not think of a sauce like this. Ooh, it reminds me a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. So I'm just gonna shake that right on there. All right, let's give that a go. Mmm, that's nice. It goes really well with the onions. Kind of raisiny. It's definitely tangy and vinegary, salty. Definitely reminds me of Worcestershire sauce. A little bit like A1 steak sauce, but different consistency. This is much thinner. It's kind of like hot sauce without the hot. <laughs> what does that mean? There's a little bit of spice in there too. Maybe a little bit of cloves. Like that. Alrighty, my lovelies, there you have it. The beautiful air pie, scrumptious, simple, humble, and just absolutely 
lovely. Thanks so much for joining me and big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to try HelloFresh for yourself, go to HelloFresh.com and use my code 10 MMA to receive 10 free meals, including free shipping. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye.